And here we are. We're going to make some strawberry freezer jam today, huh? Yep. What's the first thing we do? We add the strawberries into a big bowl. You added mangoes today, too. Mm-hmm. Mm. Add mangoes up. If you want, we need four cups of mashed up fruit in total. Yep. Hey. Then mash it all together. I used a stick blender to get the other big chunks. And just a masher is kind of tough work, huh? Mm-hmm. Plus, it doesn't get rid of all of them. Plus, sometimes the fruit gets stuck. Yep. And then what happens? Then you add a, a cup and a half of sugar mm -hmm. and one packet of freezer jam pectin. Mm -hmm. Then we mix it all together. I used a spatula. Yeah, you did a really good job there. You check for chunks. And I blended it with the same blender stick. And when it's just the way you want it, what do you do next? You... A funnel? Use a funnel? You use a funnel, then grab a couple a couple jars. Or any freezer-safe container would work, right? You yep. Put... And then you just put the jam in. I use a plastic scoop. Mm-hmm. And I just put lids on I like that you picked green lids. How come you did that? Uh, because it looks like strawberries. Yeah, they do. Strawberry jam looks like strawberries. You did a good job not making drips. And so you just ladle it all into the jars. You want to make sure all your sugar's dissolved, right? You do not want random clumps of sugar in your jam. Yeah, it tastes like sand. <laughs> There you are. Make sure we're going to scrape the last little bit out of that jar, huh? That I bowl. used a spatula to get at the rest of it to that jar. I had to use five jars for the four cups. Five little jars. And little half pints. Very good. There you are. Strawberry mango freezer jam.